How many people were at the 2018 meeting, the, the National Forum meeting last year? All right, a lot of hands. So you may remember that at that meeting, Dr. Brian Castrucci from the De Beaumont Foundation talked a lot about privilege. He talked about how health can be a function of privilege. And it's up to us who are devoted to eliminating cardiovascular health disparities and achieving health equity to represent and to work on behalf of those who are less privileged. That was Brian's message. I've been thinking a lot about a different type of privilege. I've been thinking about the privilege that all of us in this room have to be able to do what we do every day. The privilege to be able to go to work and know that if we do our jobs well, more people will live healthier lives. More people will enjoy independence in their lives longer into life. To know that we have the privilege to work with other people who share our passion for making the world a better place. And the National Forum for Heart Disease and Stroke Prevention, which Darwin Labarth and David Goff and others in the room helped start 17 years ago, is a great gathering place for people who share that passion for improving cardiovascular health for everybody, the privileged and the not privileged in society, and for preventing the preventable heart attacks and strokes. And what a great place to come together and share our passion as well as our ideas and our know-how with one another. So it's great to have you here today, great that you're here to share, and I feel privileged to be with you today. So thank you for coming and joining us today. As Julie Harville said before, we are live streaming today, so please keep that in mind. Uh, throughout the day. We want to get quickly to our first panel because we have really exciting news being made with this panel. Before we do, I want to ask the members of the annual meeting planning committee to please stand for a moment. Virginia, that's you. <laughs> so, thank, thank you all very much. Thank you for your efforts over months, a lot of calls, a lot of planning meetings. So we greatly appreciate your input and your advice. Um, as everybody knows, everybody who's put on a meeting like this, you know that it doesn't just happen by magic. It takes a great team. So I'd like my colleagues on the National Forum team to please stand. Another privilege that I have is to work with such a, a really talented and dedicated team. Uh, would the National Forum Board of Directors members please stand? Thank you all for your service, for your advice.